The Notre Dame Fighting Irish played at Duke last September. They were losing in the fourth quarter with 30 seconds to play. They scored a go-ahead touchdown and went on to defeat Mike Elko and the Blue Devils by a score of 21-14. to 14. Can Elko get his revenge here as the new head coach of Texas A&M in week one? Well, we're going to talk about it, but before we do, i got to tell you about a promotion we have available at wagertalk.com. From now until August 31st, you can get all my football picks. That's college football, NFL, and NFL preseason until the end of September for one low price of 249 bucks. Why would you be interested in that? Well, I do my homework over the summer, and over the last two seasons with college football, 41 and 12, 77% in August and September. And when you add in NFL and NFL preseason, 75% winners. You can get that right now at wt.buzz slash deals. That's the Wager Talk deals page. However, you don't have to feel obliged to purchase anything. You're more than welcome to tune in for the free content. The only thing I ask of you is that you take the time to smash that like button, and that will allow me to keep on putting out these free play videos. Let's get into this monster matchup. We've got the Notre Dame Irish at Texas A&M. It's a pick em, and the total's sitting at 49. Of course, I mentioned that uh, Mike Elko comes over from Duke to take the job at Texas A&M, and he will face a familiar foe here with quarterback Riley Leonard going from Duke to Notre Dame. Uh, Elko knows Leonard pretty well. We'll see how that plays out here. Uh, I, I like Elko's chances of turning this Texas A&M team around. This is a guy that won nine games in his first season at Duke with a lot less talent and a lot less resources than he'll have access to here at College Station. This Aggies team had the number one recruiting class in 2022. They've got a war chest of NIL money. They can buy pretty much whoever they like. And uh, they, they've got plenty of talent on both sides of the ball, but the, the strength will be their defensive line. And that could be bad news for Riley Leonard and the Irish because Notre Dame lost three starters on the offensive line, including Joe Alt, who was a top five pick in the NFL draft. Uh, the offensive line for Notre Dame is a big question mark heading into week one. And Riley Leonard will face his former coach, and he will have a new offensive coordinator. And Connor Wegman, the quarterback for Texas A&M, will also have a new offensive coordinator, Colin Klein, coming over from Kansas State. Uh, both these guys, uh, Mike Denbrock for Notre Dame and Colin Klein for Texas A&M, look like good hires. Nothing negative to say about these guys, but sometimes it takes time to get the offenses going, and I, I don't think it's going to take any time to get these defenses going. Notre Dame's defense last year, eighth nationally, allowed 16.6 .6 points per game. The Aggies' defense last year, uh, first in the SEC in sacks with 42. Second versus the pass, allowing just 188 yards per game. I think the defense's rule here, I'm going to have a look at the total. We're going to look at under 49 for this uh, the play for this, this game. Remember, this Duke team with Mike Elko in week one last year, they upset the Clemson Tigers by a score of 28-7 to at home. The Irish coming into College Station, I don't think they're going to get that many points here. And Texas A&M's offensive line has also been a question mark. And the Irish have the defense to uh, slow them down as well. I'm not sure where all the points are going to come from. I don't think we get to 49. So that is the play. If you like this video, smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And if you've got anything to say to me, even if it's nasty, you hit me up in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.